Wastelanders, Cosplay Jack here, coming to you from Tim Pines Bluff. This settlement seems to get a lot of flack for being kind of small and having an odd terrain to build on. So, you know, and to be honest, I've neglected the hell out of the settlement too. I just come here and steal the settlers and send them somewhere else. So, you know, I, I decided to build something cool here to make this settlement worth hanging out at. So, uh, let's go ahead and check out and see what I've done. So, this is the uh, rear entrance here. There are two gates to the main area of the settlement. This uh, junk fence goes around the entire perimeter. As you can see, there's two guard posts here. This is the main foundation that is found on the settlement. Uh, it's pretty much destroyed when you arrive here. I've built it into uh, living quarters for my settlers. As you can see, there's various scrap projects going on around the settlement, uh, taking apart vehicles and different things for parts. Several different living quarters, um, just little shanties, you know, the settlers can sleep in. Uh, even an outhouse here, which seems to be occupied. And uh, let's go ahead and head up here. This is the original shed that's on the settlement. When you arrive, I just put some beds and tool cases in there. I close that door. Got some water pumps here to keep the settlers happy, along with some food processors. These add food uh, to the settlement, 20 each, so 40 between the two. Uh, I like to have a settler or two farming, you know, just for effect, but I really don't like having all of them uh, doing it just to keep the settlement going so I, uh, I like to have those built into the settlement so this is the front gate here down there by the bridge you got my uh, guard outpost here this is where all the guards sleep and hang out at some anti-vertebrate action going on up here on the roof so let's go ahead and head up to the central area of the settlement because that's the real gym here. You've got all your all of your scrapping going on all around the area here, and it's all kind of going to what's going on up here. I'll take it kind of slow because there's a lot going on here, and they're just you know they're making all kinds of different cool stuff scrapping all sorts of things creating a pretty cool looking suit of power armor here scrapping some TVs and junk over there looks like they're taking apart some robots over here and I tried to make the you know environment as alive and interactive as possible you can turn certain things off and on and I just wanted it to feel really alive and vibrant and just really functioning very worked in, lived in. Yes, there is a teddy bear in my elevator. Yes, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, let's uh, check this out. This is the the central hub of the whole idea of the settlement here. It's like the Mad Wastelanders laboratory, if you will. You've got some different contraptions all wired together. I mean, you don't really know what this guy's trying to do. Maybe he's like trying to get a hold of somebody on the west coast or trying to contact aliens. I mean, he's just totally flipping out. You've got all different types of weird projects going on up here and, you know, it's sort of left up to your imagination, I guess. And, you know, after a long day of working in the workshop, maybe you couldn't get that algorithm you've been working on to go the way you want it, take out some frustrations, a little target practice up here. It's kind of cool, you know? So let's go and check out some of the other parts of the settlement. Oh yeah, I've got a little cooking area over here. I made a little makeshift oven out of some old chimney parts and cinder blocks and a fire. And they'll just sit over here and hang out, 
you know, cook stuff. Um, let's go ahead and go back out the rear gate and we'll head down to the little hunting shack on the bluff down here. Because after all, this is Tim Pine's bluff, right? You know? So I figured I would include the actual bluff part of it in the build. There is a little cemetery here, really more of a side note than anything else, just for settlers that have passed away, or I guess more recently passed away. <laughs> a mole rat got him. So let's uh, check this out. This is the hunting shack down here. Comes equipped with a small garden, various ingredients that you can harvest down here, and you'll find. Uh, you, know, you can have your settlers come down here and tend the garden if you like. So I really enjoy sniping things, just sitting up in places and kind of watching what happens out in the wasteland. And this is a great spot for it. Um, you know, you get a view of the entire valley below. Got a little ammunition box and a chair up here. Just kick back. I mean, you can see pretty far, as you can see here, there's you know, enemies everywhere all over the expressway up there. Oh, there's also a train wreck right below us here. Can't really see unless you hop up on the... And what is that? Oh, what do you know? Some undiscovered power armor. <laughs> oh, alright, well, uh, that's the video, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I will be posting more soon. Uh, this settlement will be available on the Nexus in blueprint form. Uh, link will be below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Keep surviving, Wastelanders.